Uh, hi, this is Oliver Blair, and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to go through how to make uh, lights in, in Indigo. So how to get like, uh, yeah, like interior sort of lighting, or exterior, if it's at night or whatever. So I'll just make a, um, like a box, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a room with um, put some stuff in it and then put some like lights in it or something. Maybe. Um so somehow that sort of work. Maybe I'll make it quite a long sort of sort of tube so we get to see the daylight as well at one end. I'll quickly just render this and as per usual I, I, I want to make sure we've got it on camera mode so I'll just go up to the skin to go toolbar and click on that camera settings icon go to I think yeah tone mapping and make sure it's on this camera mode and I'll turn the, the shadows on which are up here under window shadows and then press this little box here Ooh. So I guess our shadows are maybe like that over there. Maybe I'll rotate this box around. It's got some light inside as well. There we go. So I can kind of see this light way down there. And yeah, so I'll just render that. See what it looks like without any lights. It's pretty dark so far. There we go. So you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and sort of splashing in a wee bit. That's from the sun. So you know the sun's way down there and there's no light here at all. So I'll just turn shadow off because then it's a bit quicker to model. You'll notice that when when you've got a lot of stuff or a lot of shadows. Um, so I'll just make all this tunnel, just triple click it and then press G, make it a group. And then um, I'll just I'll right click on it and press lock. So that means we can't like delete it or anything. And I'll make some lights. So I'll just make a like a box, like a little cube. So I've pressed R for the rectangle and then you can sort of drag it out which direction you want and then type how big you want it. So maybe I'll make a meter by a meter. Oh that's quite a big tunnel. And then I'll drag it up a meter. So there we are, we've got our, our little pretend light thing. So now we need to make a material that emits light. So to do that I'll open the materials editor and you can do that by pressing this paint bucket icon or pressing B and it should pop up as well and then you can I'll make a new one called uh, lights or maybe I'll make lights one and I'll make this one sort of a yellowy kind of orange light Okay, and so what you can do now is open the Skindigo material editor, so that's um, paint bucket drum icon on the Skindigo toolbar, and then where is it? It's under, I think it's under emitter attributes, yeah, okay, so this is where you want to change all the stuff to do with the lights, so in Indigo the lights are called emitters. So what you want to do is make it, make sure it's on a different layer, because I think the sun in the sky is on layer zero. And I 
think that's the way it is. I'll go up into render settings and just check. Does it say under advanced or environment? There we go, environment. So sun and sky, the sun's on layer zero, the sky is on layer zero. So I'll just leave those for now. And then I'll put this on layer one. And that enables us to um, tweak it while it's being rendered. So you can like sort of turn it on or off and um, get different views from it. So I'll just leave it at that. I'll just put it on layer one and then see. We might need to change these later on, but I'll just see if that does enough. Click render and see what happens. No, nothing's happening. So this might be because um, the lights aren't powerful enough or because our camera is underexposed. So what we can do is go into the Indigo render setting while it's still rendering and then up on this drop down list here should be light layers. And so here's our sun and sky layer on layer zero and this is the light. So to test it, you can just turn it off, turn it on again, and then you can actually like ramp up the gain for the sun and sky. See how it's sort of bleeding in a bit more? And I'll zoom in so you can sort of see that you can tweak it a bit. So I'll just leave that on zero. So we can do the same thing for our lights. So I'll just ramp it right up. There we go. So you can sort of just see it. I'm just going to ramp the colors up. Now we can sort of see a little bit of splash of uh, green, a little bit of red. So you can see it's sort of hitting the, the floor and the wall and the roof, but we can't really see it enough. So another thing we can do, because Indigo is an unbiased, um, like a, a true sort of rendering thing, you can actually change the camera as well. So we can sort of un overexpose the camera. So we can change the, the ISO or change the EV values. So I might just ramp this up. There we go. So you can sort of see the, the tunnel a bit more now. You can see it a bit more. But that sort of blows out the sky as well. So what if we want like a nice sky and more light though? So to do that we need to change it from within um, SketchUp. So go back to the material editor and then it should be I think it's emission scale. There's there's different sort of modes. There's lux and candles and stuff. So I'll just leave it on lumen and I'll just add a couple zeros. Press enter and see what that does. Probably blows it out too much. Or not enough or something. Oh no, yep, there we go. So, so it's still on the camera settings and I haven't changed the light layers at all. And you can see at least the emitter as well. So this is where it gets interesting because <laughs> you need a super powerful light to be able to take out the sun or to be able to be exposed with that camera at the same level as the sun. It's basically like a, like a mini sun or whatever, right? So, yeah, it's interesting. But what happens if I move it a bit closer to the, um, the corner of the wall? And I might just add another couple of zeros, so it's like super powerful light. See what that does. There we go. So we've got our nice sky and we've got a super powerful light sort of rendering the tunnel. So it might be a bit too powerful, but whatever. And typically if you if you're rendering with lights in different light layers your renders will take ages 
to um, clean up. See how it's quite grainy still. But it's already looking pretty cool. So you can, you can really toy with light and also you know the shape of the light. So I can sort of change change that. I might scale it up and down a little bit. Make it so it's like a little rod or something. <coughs> See what that does. Because it's a material, you can sort of paint it, just as you would, you know, a concrete wall or whatever. But it's actually emitting light, so you can really sculpt, like literally in the model with light, and also control how light is rendered as well with. Um, if you want to make it a uh, lamp. So I'll show you how to do that now. But well, I'll just do a sort of quick one. Um, I might do it like that and then like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, let's do that. So there we are, so our light's still in there, but it's behind this sort of tray shade thing. So it's sort of bouncing out. So yeah, you can really play with it. And what if you want another type of light as well? So I might just um, I'll undo that shade thing. Ooh. And then I'll, uh, I'll just copy this guy to um, to here, and I'll I'll make a new material. So that that was our first light there, and I'll make another one called like lights two maybe. And I'll make this one uh, like a blue light or something. I'm not, I think this actually is the color of the light. Maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, we can just put it on a different layer and tweak the color of it up in post anyway. Uh, so we'll hit render. So they're both white lights because they're both using that same base emission color but it, you know because this doesn't have anything to do with the actual uh, emitter attributes it's just more of a sketch up sort of thing and then, wow it's looking pretty cool already anyway and then we can go up to light layers and now we can actually just turn that light off turn it back on turn it back off turn the sky off turn them all off <laughs> and really play and sort of get the best effects that we want. So we want this a bit less bright. We want the sky still there and then, but then this one super bright maybe or no. Or if we want it a little bit blue. Ooh, it's quite bright. There we go. We can sort of Really edit it and wash it out and sort of blend colors and blend lights. Yeah, pretty sweet. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. But um, there should be enough there for you to rewind and figure it out. Okay, cool. Cheers.